Hello, Inspire the New Gang. We are here today to get you in the mood for Synergy Saturday. And we are now going to introduce you to our anti-COVID dance. Hallelujah, than the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, than the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, than the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, than the glory. Revive us again. Away with COVID. Revive us again, Lord. Yay, we got our synergy workout. Today's topic. Welcome again, Inspired and New Gang. I am here with my dear sister and friend in the Lord, Sister Dawn. Dawn. Yes, ma'am, that's me. Welcome, welcome, Sister Dawn. It's thank so good you, to have thank you. Thank Don't you see how she has the anti COVID synergy yes. spirit on her? Oh, yes, the Praise Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Time the glory, revive us again. Yay! Get your heart um, beat up and going. Burn up some calories. Get your metabolism going. And get blood flowing to your brain so you can think clearly. Amen. Amen. So, today, as I said, we are talking about, we're going to do something totally different, which is fun and also God fearing and loving. And we are doing it because we want you to stay healthy during this pandemic lockdown. So it's Synergy Saturday and our topic is an anti-COVID homemade soup. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to teach you how to make the soup. It is full of healthy nutrients that can help you to fight off these bugs, these invading armies of bugs and microbes and viruses. Okay, praise the Lord. So before we go any further, we are going to ask God's blessing on today's presentation. Let us pray. Would you like to pray for us, Sister Dawn? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. No, not me. You. <laughs> okay, we will pray. Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this session. We thank you, Lord, for giving us the blessings that you have bestowed on us, Father God, for this anti-COVID soup that you inspired us to make, and for Sister Dawn being here and what she has to contribute. I will pray that it will bless your people, Father, and that it will take them to another level and help them to preserve their health. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Our scripture readings for today, we are going to begin with, Let's read um, 3 John, verse 2. 3 John, verse 1, 3 John, verse 2. Okay. Sister Dawn is going to read for us. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. So, this was the Apostle John writing to the elder of the church Gaius and he was saying to him my brother I wish above all things that you may be in health, good health in good health because what can we do without good health nothing you may have a bunch of money in the store mm -hmm. in the bank but if you don't have good health and if no even if you you can um, contact the greatest doctor in the world and pay him the highest fee but if he cannot properly diagnose and doesn't know the right treatment for your sickness for your disease then it's not going to help you no you may you may spend the money and pay the doctor but if the remedy is not working then and your health is not improved you have nothing at all nothing. and I have heard of stories I heard this story this pastor told that um there was a gentleman who was very, very ill, well, a member of his family, but at that time he was a boy, he was a child. Now he's a great man of God who has a gift of healing. Mm -hmm. And he was regretting, saying that with remorse, that he wished he was old enough at the time and knew God like he knows now right. and had the anointing on him. He would have saved his uncle, but unfortunately the uncle died 
and um, he was a wealthy man but nothing that those who were available at the time nothing that they could do could save his life and even though he was a wealthy man he was influential in the community and he helped people but nobody could save him because, yes, because his health was deteriorated. Yes, they did not have the cure for, and I think it was some type of cancer, Ooh. but couldn't have helped him. So that was, was John important. speaking to his friend Gaius, the elder of the church. But you know, when the Holy Spirit speaks through the scriptures, it was written from back then, but it's also appropriate for our time now. Yes. The scripture is God breathed, and. I repeat and it it can work for us in this age as it did back then our other scripture that ties in with this anti-covid homemade nutritious soup, soup is ezekiel 47 and verse 12. going back to the old testament ezekiel daniel comes just before daniel ezekiel 47 and verse 12. Okay. And by the river upon the bank thereof, Locally on this side, this is, this camera <coughs> is in here. Yeah. and by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on there and that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his, his months, because their waters because their waters they issued out of the sanctuary and the fruit thereof shall be for meat and the leaf thereof for medicine so here god was giving the prophet a picture mm -hmm. of provision that he was going to make for the healing of the nations mm -hmm. the um, revelation also shows us that in heaven right now there are trees that are there specifically for the healing of the nations mm -hmm. and that's why over time god has given the wisdom to man how to use plants mm -hmm. and herbs mm -hmm. and extract from it the, the healing mm -hmm. um, portions from it that can hu help humanity with these illnesses and diseases it was all in god's plan ahead of time to make provision through the natural vegetation of the earth to provide healing for the nation and for people so even now many of the things that we are eating or don't eat have nutritious value that can help protect us from some of the onslaughts of these diseases and things that we face mm -hmm. but we have to be vigilant we have to know what they are what their values are what the benefits of these things are and we have to be vigilant to use them appropriately so that we can benefit from them and the enemy doesn't overcome us and destroy our lives and our bodies because the body is a temple of the living god mm -hmm. we have to keep it clean and holy and vibrant in order that we can accommodate the spirit and um in daniel 1 8 i will just summarize that it was when daniel as a hebrew boy was taken captivity into babylon and uh, the king because he saw the blessing that was on daniel that god's favor was on him and he was so wise um the king then were giving these boys a, along with daniel and shadrach meshach and abednego were in the same existing in the same era mm -hmm. and they were in babylon together so when the king saw how wise these jewish boys were he decided that he would show them favor by giving them the best of the meal that he had mm -hmm. the best of the meat the best of the food that they ate right but being a jewish young man in wanting to honor god and honor his culture and the way he was brought up his spiritual upbringing he decided no i could not because that was your commandment right do not defile yourself your temple right with the things that the other people mm -hmm. so he decided i am going to stand on the word of god that i know mm -hmm. and i'm not going to partake of these rich fancy meats mm -hmm. and things so the the ward the gentleman who was telling him what the king's order was and wanting to bring him this food daniel was saying no i, I can't touch that so daniel suggested to him 
I tell you what, if you don't believe me, because the man was worried that he was going to faint away right, right. because of lack Not of eating. eating. But he mm -hmm. said, trust me, let us for 10 days, let us Hebrew boys only eat the lentils and the beans and drink water. And at the end of 10 days, you can test us and see the block of the, the um, microphone and see if we are less healthy or more healthy than the people who eat all the meats. Just beans and water. I must try that. And so, how many days? 10 days. I've got to try 10 that. days. Uh, that scripture tells us how. We, and so the and man said, like Okay, olive. I'll give you 10 days and see. And the scripture went on to tell us that at the end of that time, Daniel and the boys were more healthy, they were fatter, mm -hmm. <laughs> they were more healthy mm -hmm. than the people who had eaten the king's meat. So and the so, basically tell you that meat not good for you? Well, in the, in the days it, it showed that we have fallen. We have fallen a lot from the original. Because okay. it told us, there's a scripture there in the Old Testament that shows us that it wasn't until, I must look it up, it wasn't until after Adam fell that man started eating animal products. Sin. Yeah, brought Sin. it on. And so you see, our body began to decline from that time. Mm. But today, we have this very nutritious and delicious soup that the Lord impressed on me to make. And I said, you know what? It's, it would be a good thing to share it with my, my YouTube family because I think they can benefit from it. You don't and want me to read Daniel? Yes, you can quickly read the Daniel. Um, okay, Daniel 1 here. Um, it was Daniel 1 and verse 8. Okay. okay, Daniel 1 verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince, of the Eunuchs. eunuchs that he might not defile himself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then he went on to no. tell how he had favor yeah. you can read a little more so no, they'll get the gist of it brought daniel into favor and the and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs and the prince of the eunuchs said unto daniel i fear my lord the king who hath appointed your meat and your drink for why should he see your faces worse <coughs> liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall he make me endanger my head to the king. What does this mean? So he's saying, what he's saying is that if the king sees these men's face being sad and mm -hmm. they look gaunt and like they're not being fed, he, the steward, of the king could lose his head mm, because the him. king would think that he's not feeding Feed them, them properly so but daniel reassured him and said then said daniel to melzar whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over daniel ananel mishael mishael and, and, and azariah that was the king renamed the three hebrew boys oh. that was the name that that was a new name. <laughs> mm -hmm. Prove thy servants. I beseech thee. Ten days and let them give give us pulps to eat That's the beans. and water to drink. Pulps? Yeah, it's they beans. call them pulps. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, some people refer to it as pulp. Look at read verse fifteen now. And at the Lord. end of ten and at the end of ten days their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat yes so god proved and it goes for many things it shows there that not just in food but when we choose to honor god in whatever we do and don't go the way of the crowd mm -hmm. god promises that he will honor those who honor him and in that case it had to do with health and obeying and following um, the word of God that Daniel knew that he was taught from his country 
and by honoring God and uplifting him even before this heathen king who had so much authority God defended Daniel and proved that Daniel was right that when you obey God and you eat what he says to eat you will in the end your health will be elevated mm -hmm. and so it is right there in the scripture so we want to um, stay on time so we are going to proceed now with our demonstrating um, the, preparation, the preparation soup. preparation of this anti-covid homemade soup 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 good for you good for you good for you good for you. Hey, protect your lungs your kidney your heart your bones your cells your whatever anti-covid homemade soup anti-covid homemade soup anti-covid homemade soup take a cup take a cup take a cup take a bowl take a bowl take a bowl good for you good for you good for you good for the mama good for the papa good for the children good for the auntie good for the niece good for the grandma anti-covid homemade soup anti-covid homemade soup yay <laughs> Glory to God. Yep. So here we are going to show you the ingredients that we have in our soup. Sister Dawn, mm -hmm. help me show the people what we have in this glorious soup here. Okay. This Jamaicans call, what do Jamaicans call this? Chocho. Chocho. <laughs> But the Hispanics call it, Havana. you can see it with the green skin, chocho. Hispanics call it coyote, C H A Y O T E, chocho. Okay, not the animal coyote. No, not C A Y O T E. Okay, what else do we have in the good food? The good Everybody knows carrot. This is carrot. Carrot and what is what is the ingredient? What is carrot full of? Which it's full of carotene and vitamin A, which is good for our eyesight. Very good. What else are we putting in this? The limit is supposed to be green. <laughs> <laughs> this is the famous green banana green banana pretend but that it is green it was supposed <laughs> to be green <laughs> but you know whatever they are doing with the bananas nowadays by the time you buy it even if it's green by the time you get home it, it is ripe <laughs> so pretend that it is a green banana okay Ooh. what are these cilantro 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 is a very good. Yes, cilantro is a very good vegetable. It's like a herb, mm -hmm. and it has many antioxidant um, properties. So, what is antioxidant properties? Mm -hmm. Antioxidant is are the same um, ingredients that help to fight, build your immune system, and fight off infection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, helps to um control blood pressure lower your blood pressure what are these at least the minute looks at it um celery 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 and we are going to go over each one of these a little later and tell you what the benefits of each is okay so we have our celery and what else? potato everybody know potato all right what, which potato is that one this look white right. and it's called this is Irish. The potato. Irish. Okay. This one. Irish. Same Irish potato, but it's red. This is red. I think oh. this is called Ruskin potato. We have something that is very effervescent and gives a good smell and flavor to your soup. How would that mean? Gives a good flavor and smell. To yes, this is effervescent time. Time. okay that's a herb so we are oh we can't forget 
the the garlic everybody know garlic garlic good for all kind of something good for blood pressure you name it good for cancer yes. Yes. garlic is a it's an antioxidant it also is an anti-inflammatory it means it prevents inflammation from developing in the body it also is what we call uh, um, it dilates help to dilate your blood vessels and by doing so that's what Watson. drops your blood pressure yes helps to prevent um, formation of blood clots yes this garlic so let us begin now with our soup first of all so we show you all the ingredients also we use a 15 bean pack, bag, pack a pack beans. of 15 bean different 15 different beans in this bag that we also use in this soup so as you notice we did not use any kind of animal products it's uh, the beans that are full of natural plant protein Okay. and we have our bag of where's our bag of lentils our bag over of, there so just pretend this is a 15 bean soup and so what you we do first of all we have our pot you would wash your beans the wash pour put your bean in a pour it out in a skillet or in a um, colander and you wash the beans properly and then you can even put your beans to soak overnight washing it on a covid yes all right. remember to follow all the directives wash hands keep maintain your social distancing and six foot yes <laughs> and um frequent hand washing will help to prevent infectionary processes so you wash your beans in a container say if you're going to make enough soup for two or three people you could use half of this bag because the beans when they swell they tend to multiply or if you have a larger family or if you say even if you're a single person and you want to make enough soup to last for a week because you don't like to cook you can use this whole packet in, but in a larger pot and you can put it to soak overnight before you're ready for it and then when you're ready to cook you put it in the cold water you might use about two two or three gallons of water okay see. in your pot two to three gallons of water or more depending on how much soup you want to make when it is cold when the water is still cold you put your beans in there and you give it time to cook until the beans become tender not mushy but tender enough then after you have the beans have been cooked what do you think we need to put in next add the vegetables the chocha the irish so the those carrots. are the ground provisions right you don't put nothing in there we don't put the um the put seasonings them. until when the provisions are finished. almost but you know until tell them get them as of say use these yes seasons. oh yes go yeah. ahead sister Dawn. yes cayenne pepper is one of the one of the ingredients one of the herbs and um seasoning that we use italian yes. seasoning also this italian yes. seasoning i really like as you can see it because it, there's no salt in it it's just the herbal italian seasoning and it gives it such a refreshing taste okay you're not going to tell them the benefits of the cayenne pepper yeah at the, pepper. I, at, the end? yeah at the end i'm going to go through okay. each thing and give them and here we also have this okay. this is i put my himalayan salt in here oh so it was originally for or an oregano bottle but this is himalayan salt mm -hmm. okay we put a pinch of it in the soup and what do we the have good here old turmeric Oh, turmeric yeah. yes good for everything and this is organic turmeric so we will put like about a, depending on how large your pot of soup you can put like a teaspoon if it's a smaller amount you can put half a teaspoon of turmeric in there and make sure it's mixed in and blended in properly and we have all of our 
seasonings. We have the ginger, we have the garlic, we have our escalion. You didn't tell them anything about the ginger. You left the ginger out. Yeah, we do. I put ginger in there too. We have the escalion that's cut up in here. So we have all of these ready to go into the soup. And we have our celery cut up. So you might want to cut your you can cut your coyote your chocho. Chocho into after you peel it. Some people like to leave the skin on. We want to take out the inner Pull up the skin on. The middle of this the, the inner area here. That's non edible. And then you can cut it into smaller bits. Some people like to cut it larger or into chunks. You might some want to cut it into slices. Depending on your preference. Yeah, depending on your preference, you can slice it or you can cut it into chunks like this. So we're cutting up our ingredients that we need to put in here. Your potatoes, again, some individuals like to keep, these are already washed and I like to wash my ingredients in with a apple cider vinegar. That does a good job of removing any kind of pesticide or other things that might be attached to it. So you can peel your potato or you can choose to leave it whole, I mean, leave the skin on and again you can cut it into into slices or you can cut it into chunks okay in the interest of time we will just we have our things cut up and ready for the soup and our carrot you can dice it we peel it with the carrot peeler which is a very good help it, it does it real fast you can cut it into circular pieces or you can cut it into um, long pieces or however you want to do it. But these, since these are easily broken down by heat, we don't want to put them in until close to when, close, when the soup is close to um, completion. So the brown provision take longer to cook and they need a little longer time and more heat so we will cook those first and when they are almost completely cooked then that's when we'll put in our carrot our cilantro our thyme and um, the ginger and this is already washed you can cut it into small bits and depending on the amount of soup you're preparing right you add the ginger right yeah sufficient amount, amount that ginger. that you can actually taste the it sends the taste of the ginger in your soup mm -hmm. the very um beneficial so we have our sorry we, we have our beans cooking here we have the beans cooking now for the banana or green banana pretend I already washed it. You remove the ends, the non-edible parts. Again, some individuals prefer to remove the skin of the banana, the peel. However, we know that scientifically, most of the iron is in the is skin. In the skin. Mm -hmm. So it is recommended that you cut, you cook it with the skin. Um, some people. Yeah, we remove our label. Some people um, might just choose to cut it along one of the ridges like that and put it in whole. Some might choose to cut it in two. But for soup, I like to cut it into small circles like that, but in a circular manner, in these little circular pieces and then once you cut all of it then you put it in your pot so miss dawn you can help me to cut sure. this um this banana so you'll do it quickly and we are going to put it in the after we cut all these ingredients we'll put them in the soup 
and our, our beans are already cooked so we are going to add these ingredients to the to the now boiling water okay so our potatoes we are cutting banana we are cutting all our ground provisions are ready and we are now ready to put them let's cut up some of the well we can do this later while while the ground provisions are being cooked we can so now our pot is boiling you can see over here follow us now we are going to put our ingredients in the pot for it to boil. To put it in a dry pot. <laughs> okay. Because this so this banana is ripe. Oh, ripe. It's not so ripe. <laughs> okay, so we'll put it in like this. We stir it around and we let it continue to cook. So give this about 25 to 30 minutes for these provisions to um to be fully cooked. We don't want them to get too soft, too mushy, because then that will defeat the purpose of the nutrients in the soup. We just want them to barely um, get tender. And then we will then add our... So pretend that our soup is cooking over there and in the meantime we can go ahead and cut up the the vegetable and the seasons okay so we are going to get our seasonings the ones that were cut up before we will go ahead and cut up our celery our carrot our cilantro and we have our thyme here and uh, the carrot we'll finish cutting those up and get them ready to put in the soup as well okay so here we go and um one thing i need to recommend also if you have like one of those fancy food processors um you can choose to like for things like oh and i forgot the the squash which we call pumpkin but it's a squash mm -hmm. the yellow squash um for those foods that are easily cooked if you don't want to lose any of your nutrients at all and you have one of those food processors you can cut up that did i see some the pumpkin around here mm -hmm. that elaine brought Mm -hmm. um, you can choose to cut up your squash into small chunks and put it in your food processor and then boil water boil water and put the boiled water just pour it into the food processor on top of the the chunks of um, the squash and then press your button for blending or uh, pureeing and you will be amazed in a minute in a moment's time you can have soup we call it pumpkin soup but you can have squash soup ready to go if you choose to use your your um food processor that way and that way you're eating it live it's live squash soup and you haven't lost anything to the heat of cooking so now say that our our provisions have been cooked and now we are ready to add our herbs or spices and our other vegetables so we will add it to this and we will add our celery can you all see me? <laughs> what 
we we'll add our celery and we add all our spices and our herbs along with our garlic, our ginger, all of that is in there. And we we'll let the cilantro, I already cut those up and put them in there. And our thyme, we'll put that in there. We'll cover it. And at this time also, we will go ahead and add our cayenne mm -hmm. pepper, our Italian seasoning, my Himalayan salt. You can add it a little earlier, you could add it at this point, and our turmeric. All these will be added into our soup, our anti COVID soup. So you can add a, a few dashes COVID. A few dashes of your Italian seasoning. You can add a pinch of Himalayan salt. Not too much because we don't want to defeat the antihypertensive um, <laughs> value of our natural herbs here. Right. We are now adding our cayenne pepper. Adding the cayenne pepper, a few dashes of that. Now some people like things really spicy, so they might choose to add more. And you stir it in as you add while it is so that everything is fully blended. We add all of those and the turmeric. I would say for our pot is not one of those teaspoons. We're not making a very large pot of anti-covid soup but so because like, turmeric will tend to have a bitterish taste if you put too much mm -hmm. we put that in half or a quarter of a teaspoon depending on the size of your pot of soup and then make sure that you stir it in stir stir and then Remember the pot was boiling vigorously at first and um, now we want to lower the heat. We can lower the heat under the, under the um, soup and let the vegetables and the other ingredients, let them blend into the soup so that the entire pot of soup will have all the savory um, sense of all those wonderful nutrients and um, God-given ingredients that have healing properties in them. So the soup is on the completion. We lowered the heat and we're letting it simmer and so that all of those ingredients and herbs and spices can be absorbed in it and capture all the goodness of the wonderful things that God has given us. So while that is happening and we are getting ready to wrap up, we just want to go over some of the benefits, Sister Dawn, some of the wonderful benefits of these herbs and spices and natural plant ingredients that God has given us. Now, let's look at cayenne pepper. It is such, a, unless you do the research or you're a person who, you know, look into these things, one would never know that cayenne pepper has so many benefits. Mm -hmm. For example, it increases our metabolism. Mm -hmm. That means when, when your metabolism is increased, that means you're going to burn more fat mm -hmm. and you're going to release more energy. Mm -hmm. And it's good for your heart because it means when your metabolism is increased, it pumps more blood through the heart. So the blood is not sitting around stagnant to have the tendency to form clots. Mm -hmm. The more vigorously your blood is moving through your, that's why they tell you like we are in lockdown, mm -hmm. but don't become sedentary and sit all day long watching TV. Right. You need to get up and move. Yes. Get the blood, do some aerobics, you know, the kicking and the arms, <laughs> the things that are going to increase yes. your flow of blood through your heart and to your vital organs. Those are the exercises that are very beneficial. And you don't have to go to a gym to do those things. Mm -mm. So cayenne pepper increases metabolism from the capsaicin ingredient that is in it. It can decrease hunger pangs, which for people who are trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. If you're burning up calories at the same time 
and your your hunger pangs are decreased that is a win-win for losing weight right because you and won't have, you won't have the craving yes yes it aids in your digestion a lot of us have problems with GERD which is gastric acid reflux mm -hmm. gastrointestinal acid reflux but, but do you know how much of the kind people um, have to absorb in order to get all of that benefits from it well like on the um the bottle that it comes in mm -hmm. it will tell you if you're preparing it will usually tell you depending on the size of the meal mm -hmm. how much to use and they they even have it in in a natural food store mm -hmm. you can get it in capsule form mm -hmm. as well yeah so it helps to decrease pain especially with joint pain inflammatory type pains but you're really getting older yes and it's it's um full of magnesium and um, which magnesium we need for a heart rhythm mm. regulation and it decreases cancer risk and of course it's easy to add to our diet because right. it's not very expensive and you can right. get it readily in the store turmeric is an anti-inflammatory um, ingredient that the Lord has blessed us with and it comes from a plant that is kind of um, similar to the ginger, ginger family mm -hmm. yes and um, it's support, also Im Im immune support yeah and it's antimicrobial which means it helps the body to fight against these bugs that are always trying to invade our bodies both viruses and bacteria it helps to build your immune system again the system that helps to fight off those invading armies and um it has for your heart cardio. hard health for your cardio cardio protective health so it protects your heart from injury damage due to hypertension or cholesterol buildup mm -hmm. and bad, um, bad eating yes <laughs> and bad lifestyle <laughs> garlic that amazing amazing product garlic I know most people don't like it because of the, the odor that it carries but um, one thing you can do if you're going to use garlic use it at a time when you're going to be home mm -hmm. not before going to work mm -hmm. or going out you know someplace and um, it is an anticoagulant yes, you know, it helps to prevent blood clots from forming it's rich in vitamins and minerals and it's also an anti-inflammatory and um, it helps to decrease blood pressure mm -hmm. also so garlic is an irreplaceable thing that we should have you can put in a big pot of soup like that two to three two to three um cloves mm -hmm. of the garlic it will be good what else do we have so we have the bananas what do you think banana what do you think banana helps us with what is it good for good for monkey I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, Bananas I'm good. sure the, the, the monkeys <laughs> like it, so they, they're getting some so benefit from it. Potassium, you know, um, the, the green ones are good iron. Yes, of iron. green bananas are full of iron and also full of fiber. Fiber, fiber is any material that has like roughage in it. So you can eat the helps. skins? The green bananas when or it's the boiled. Ripe, or the ripe one. You can eat the ripe skin, ripe banana skin. I know okay. because there are so other you ingredients get a in it that is from the red banana you would get not as much as from yes the green banana. from the green yeah right. um, and so we know we already established that the iron most of the iron is in the skin of the banana mm -hmm. banana also has some heart healthy right. abilities yes mm -hmm. heart health because it has a lot of put, um, potassium in it as well and potassium, and potassium the help heart. protect the heart and regulate the rhythm mm. heart rhythm yes um, also helps with digestion mm -hmm. and for people who have um, gastrointestinal problems such as irritable bowel syndrome the banana is helpful green bananas are helpful for that. Irritable, irritable bowel, bowel syndrome mm -hmm. there's a and condition a diagnosis about, <laughs> well <laughs> the way it's acting the okay. way it's acting it shows that it is irritable okay. because you will have constant cramping some people have diarrhea mm -hmm. and pain along with that that irritable syndrome mm -hmm. and so 
banana green banana is good to help fight against that situation and settle the stomach mm -hmm. okay and um one of the things because it is slowly released so as it is being slowly released it's conveying its benefits on the stomach so great for banana um celery rich in what vitamin in the name Jesus. so let me go back <laughs> because we seem to have had a, an intermission there the computer turned itself off um so in order to preserve most of the nutrients in your anti-covid soup if you have one of those expensive blenders that have the ability to um, blend food you can put the ingredients that don't need don't require uh, cooking like the squash this the um, celery and so on you can the cut squash? them up mm -hmm. yeah. pumpkin you don't have to cook it you can that you, if you boil the water mm -hmm. I have done it before and it is excellent you, you can make like instant squash soup you boil the water real boiling and you pour it on the squash in the blender and you turn wow. it on to whatever pureed or depending on how liquid you want it mm -hmm. and when that is finished you you can smell it and you taste it and you're getting all of the nutrients because it hasn't gone through that heat of right, you know, process. Mm -hmm. the boiling yes so that's one way you can even get more benefits out of your mm -hmm. anti-covid ingredients <laughs> if you have that type of blender so we have it there now cooking for some time and i think our soup is about ready this soup out of there we're going to warm it and show them it's in the container with the purple top and we are going to show you to warm and show you the finished product of the anti-covid soup that we had prepared some ahead of time so i hope you're staying with us for the production of this grand finale of the anti-covid <laughs> soup i hope you have stayed with us for the grand finale of the anti-covid soup maybe not need that much maybe mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well we'll show them in a minute we are going to show you what this soup might look like and if you have any questions and you would like this recipe please put it in your comments below and give your email address or how you would like to receive it we'll be glad to share it with you and um, tell us please give us some remarks about how you find how do you find this anti-covid soup and if you you feel any different in your body once you have had it for some time um, also please subscribe we are doing something a little different today um, that because we want everybody to benefit from it and to um, help protect themselves from the onslaught of things that are coming at us from time to time in our bodies. I think it should be ready now. I want to give you an idea. I need to put it in a little longer. Okay, let's just keep it in for a little longer. So remember you add all your herbs and spices when the soup is almost completed when those ground provisions are getting tender but you don't want them to get mushy at that point you can add the, the herbs and the spices and the seasonings and stir stir from time to time when it's all finished you turn your stove off and if your family or yourself if you're ready to eat then you serve it in your bowl and have your water close by to drink uh, uh, as you have enjoy your soup water with a little lemon in it with <laughs> no sugar <laughs> yes amen and so this is one of the things God has given us I was so excited when I did the research to find out the benefits of all these ingredients from time to time you might hear people talking about 
the different um, herbs and spices. You hear the names, but you may not necessarily know um okay so take a look where's my camera oh lord okay why is the camera not focusing okay here's a look at the anti-covid soup here i can Finish see product. celery here i can see the 15 bean different beans and oh yes we did add some grace chicken noodle cock noodle spice to it to give it a little flavor sure and i can is. see the time i see the coyote or chocho some of the beans etc healthy plant protein good for you full of antioxidants anti-inflammatories and heart healthy thank you so much for stopping by and for participating in our preparation of come sister dawn myself and sister dawn your hosts thank you for stopping by and preparing with us this healthy anti-covid soup may god bless you and we are going to take you out with our anti-covid song that we put together as we went around what was this song again we are going to sing this one going out take a cup my brother take a cup another cup take a cup of anti-covid soup hold fast and never let go no matter what the cdc may say or do drink a cup my brother drink a cup hey take a cup my brother take a cup another cup hold fast and never let go no matter what the cdc may say or do drink a cup of anti-covid soup anti-covid soup out god bless you amen be healthy be strong in the lord and in the power of his might we'll see you again soon